This was a TikTok post from Soundwave Superior One. And I believe the young lady that's on the video is the poster. Either way, the heading says, Evil women wear ritual wigs and weave. Basically, she's saying that all evil women have to wear wigs and weave because, well, listen to this. Missing the point with this Oscar slap. The entire point is that evil women cannot grow hair. The Oscar slap that she's referring to has got to be the notorious slap that Will Smith gave Chris Rock. And it was because of Jada. As Will Smith said, keep my wife's name out of your mouth. Jada had a bald head or very low cut hair. I don't know which. Either way, this hair thing has got to be referring to Jada not being as rumored a faithful wife. And so therefore, the poster is saying that she was cursed with a bald head. Let's continue. When a woman is evil and doesn't submit to her husband, the Lord will snatch all her hair out. It's a curse in Isaiah 317. Now she's quoting the scripture in relationship to this subject matter, which proves to me why God had the prophets right for the woman to be silent in the church. I mean, if a woman doesn't go to church, then that means be silent as far as the word of God is concerned. Either way, Isaiah 3.17 reads like this, Therefore the Lord will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Zion, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Okay, first thought that come to my mind, when I read this script, is that God will smite with a scab the crown of the head of the daughters of Israel, and the Lord will discover their secret parts. Now, need to go to the previous verse so we can see if we can understand this verse a little better. Isaiah 3 and 16, Moreover the Lord said, Because the daughters of Zion are haughty, and walk with stretched forth necks, and wanton eyes, walking and menacing as they go, and making a tinkling with their feet. In other words, these women of Zion, or women of Israel, are searching for prey. The stretched forth necks and wanton eyes and menacing are talking about they're trying to be tempterous. They're trying to tempt the men into being attracted to them, probably sexually. This has nothing to do with them being submissive. This has to do with them being more like whore. So let me show you what God said about the women of Israel as far as whoredom is concerned. I'm going to read from the book of Hosea chapter 4 verse 13. They sacrifice upon the tops of the mountain and burn incense upon the hill under oaks and poplars and elm because the shadow thereof is good. Therefore your daughter shall commit whoredom and your spouses shall commit adultery. This verse here is talking about the adultery against their God, against the God of Israel, that the children of Israel made prior to them being kicked out of the land. See, they sacrifice upon the mountain. They go to the highest places and they make these sacrifices to false gods under oaks and poplars and elm. Because they made sacrifices to these false gods under these oaks and poplars and elm, these are the very same trees that these ones were hung from on the regular in the land of their captivity, which is the United States. Their daughters committed whoredom, and your spouses shall commit adultery. So you committed whoredom and adultery against your God by worshiping and serving other gods, false gods. That's why your wives and your spouses commit adultery. The same way your wife hurts you or your husband hurts you, when he commits adultery, or what y'all like to call cheat. That's the same way you hurt your God, and the same way you still hurting your God, by serving all of these false gods. Next verse, Hosea 4 and 14. I will not punish your daughters when they commit whoredom, nor your spouses when they commit adultery. For themselves are separated with whores, and they sacrifice with harlots. Therefore, the people that doth not understand shall fall. This verse is plain and simple. It says, because you committed whoredom with false gods and adultery with false gods, then your spouses will commit adultery because they are separated with whores. In other words, they categorize, your wives are categorized as whores. And the people that don't understand this, they shall fall. Because they don't understand this, they're going to continue to worship false gods, make sacrifices to false gods, and serve false gods. So therefore, 
this people will fall. Look at the condition of the so-called black man around the world today. The black man is falling. Used to be kings and priests. Now you're slaves and whores. In case this is the first time you've listened to me or the first time you've seen any of my videos on spirituality. And in case you didn't already know. The false gods that I'm referring to are gods like, that's a little g god, like Jesus or Jesus or whatever else you want to turn into your god. That is not the God of Israel. If you listen to any of my other videos on religion and spirituality, you will know how adamant I am about Christians serving Christ, Jesus, or Jesus. These are all false gods. You ones need to wake up, understand who your God is. Therefore, you'll be able to get out of the condition that you're in. With respect to the verses that I just read, this would apply to Jada. The rumor has it that Jada committed whoredom with this August Alistina. But because of her whoredom, God is not going to punish her. What God decided he would do, as depicted in Isaiah 3.17, God decided to smite this woman. Smite means to hurt, to strike, okay? God decided to smite this woman with a scab on the crown of her head. All of these ones that commit whoredom. But God is not going to do it personally. The same way as to what happens when the watchman fail to warn the people of their wickedness. It turns out that the watchman who failed to warn the people because the people had been told already not to commit whatever it was that they was doing, hoarding or whatever the case may be, because they was told already by the scriptures, the watchman had the duty to smite the people himself, themselves. The watchman's duty after warning the people was to smite the people. Okay, it's the same situation here. God is not going to do it. The watchman is supposed to do it. The husband is supposed to be the watchman. So what is this really saying? It's saying that typically the husband will smite the woman in her head, therefore leaving a scab. A scab is what occurs when a wound begins to heal. This is what the scripture is talking about. In the case of Will and Jada, that slap against Chris Rock was really the slap that he wanted to put on Jada. But he took out that anger and frustration on Chris rather than Jada, which I think was an injustice.